Hey guys, how's it going? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. If this is your first time checking out Taylor Divine's channel, what is up guys? I am Amy. If you re are returning, welcome back to my channel. So this will be your daily message for Tuesday, June 23rd. Great message ahead for you guys. Just a quick short announcement. So I was away all weekend. I was uh, uh, attending a wedding. I was a maid of honor at a wedding. Um, it was a beautiful wedding, lots of fun, got pretty much wasted all weekend, so uh, still recuperating. Um, but yeah, it, overall the wedding was great, the, the weather was a little warm for my liking, but um, what are you going to do, right? Anyways guys, so I'm glad to be back, I missed you guys all, I missed you know being able to channel for you guys, I missed being able to talk to you guys. Um, yeah, I just, I just missed being on here, I missed, um, I missed all of it, and now I'm playing catch up, okay? So if you guys are ready i am ready let's get going because i know you guys are like okay amy we need some guidance we missed you so let's stick into this so i am just using oracle cards again for today i feel like i'm just i'm not scared to use the tarot cards um i just don't want to start off a new week my first reading back getting any bad news for you guys so i'm going to kind of keep the mojo kind of go with what i'm guided to do every day this week because i really want to try and keep this channel um afloat i want to keep channel um i want i want to deliver the messages that you guys need to hear so if i'm drawn back to the tarot cards this week i will go back to those but for today i'm just using um the gateway deck and these spirit messages because I just feel like you know what they're really good so all right so what I have coming through for your first card guys is that the first literally card that's coming through is saying it's time to kill the past I step into my future with strength and clarity yeah um you have to ask yourself today you know what is what is serving you holding on to this past what is um, what is holding on to the past doing for you? Um, I really feel this energy of look at, look at where you are today versus where you were back then. Are you the same person? Clearly not. Some of you might be, but hopefully not. But I feel like what's coming through is that you're not that same person. And you know, it may feel like some days that you are it may feel like you haven't moved it may feel like you've still continued to be stuck but what spirit is trying to say is that if you want to continue to move forward if you want to continue to build and evolve and grow you need to let go of, you need to let go of what is holding you back you need to let go of what's keeping you stuck whether that's a connection whether that's a relationship or whether that's just something someone has said to you you know it's time. It's time to let go. It's time to let go of, you know, past pain, past hurt. It, it's time to have courage. It's time to have strength. It's time to know that all of the good things that are making their way towards you guys or because you earned it, because you have grown as an individual. You have learned what you needed to learn. But you got to value yourself more. You got to look at, okay, you know, maybe I wasn't the person back then that I needed to be but I know that I've worked really hard to get to where I am today so I feel like what's really coming through is that this could even be validation for some of you that says you know if you're sitting there and you feel stuck and you feel lost you know just just look back on your life the past three months the past three years whatever it is six months and ask yourself you know are you that same person and if you're not then celebrate those victories celebrate the fact that you've grown celebrated the fact some of you that even you have taken yourself out of situations you have moved yourself out of conflicts you have moved yourself away from abusive relationships or you know marriages that weren't going in or whatever the case is like today's guidance is you you have walked away from something and in that process of you walking away you were able to find yourself so now it, it, it's we're going into a new chapter. We're going into a new journey. We're going into a new section. And what Spirit's saying is that, you know, let go of those parts that are still holding you back because what's in front of you is exactly what you guys need. But 
you need to have courage. You know, it's going to take a lot of strength. It's going to take a lot of courage. But once you get over that hump, once you get over those feelings of doubts, of insecurities, and you heal the parts of you that you need to heal, you're going to see. You're going to see what I'm talking about. You're going to see a brighter outcome. You're going to see what it is that you truly need to see. And maybe that some of you just need to take that blindfold off and realize what's in front of you. All right. Stepping into stillness. My power is born in the majesty of steel. steel ah, silence. So sometimes it's kind of like the hermit card, you know, you take that step back. You look at your life. You look at what you're going through right now. You look at the obstacles and the challenges that God's having you faced right now. And you look at, all right, well, I'm going through this or I'm going through that, you know, but I have gone through something similar in the past or I have gone through this already once. And I was able to grab myself out of that. I was able to walk away from something that wasn't serving me. So in this midst of taking that step um, back and, and just reevaluating and re looking at your life, spirit is saying you have to go within. All right. You have to listen to that inner inner voice, that that intuition, that that gut feelings. You know, you got to listen to your heart. You got to listen to you got to be still. You got to meditate. You got to just figure out who you are as an individual. You know, and this kind of seems to those that are trying to, trying to rush relationships or trying to love, rush love or something in the line of that where, you know, maybe you're afraid to be alone. Maybe whoever needs to hear this is afraid that love's never going to happen for you. And what I feel is spirits coming through and saying like, that's, that's crazy. You know, love will happen for you when, when you're ready for it, when you have learned what you needed to learn. But sometimes it's going within. Sometimes it's taking that time for yourself. Sometimes it's going in that stillness and that quiet, you know, silence of, of your life and being able just to work on you because that's, that's what it is at the end of the day, being able to just work on you. Um, and that doesn't mean that you're not lovable. It doesn't mean you're not worthy of love. It just means that where you are in your life right now, God is, God is protecting you. God is saying, you know what, there's something better else out there for you, but you need to understand this. You need to see this. You need to stop rushing things. You need to slow down. You need to just step within that silence moment and just have that break. And I like, you know, me taking that whole weekend off just to ground myself, to focus on myself. Like, I feel so upbeat. I feel so refreshed. I feel like I'm coming in this with a clean slate, right? Because I I knew that I needed to... I knew after Tuesday that come Wednesday, I was going to be extremely busy last week. And so that's why I cut personal readings off. And that's what I'm saying. Like, I knew I needed those days to get prepared for that wedding. And I didn't want to do any more personal readings that were going to you know, mess with my energy at that time. And I knew the weekend, it was impossible. So I planned, right? I was straightforward and said, I'm not doing readings until the following week. And I gave myself that chance to slow down. I gave myself that chance to enjoy that moment. I gave myself that chance to step back, right? And that's what I'm saying for you guys, is that whatever you got going on in your life right now, sometimes it's just about stepping back. Sometimes it's about going within and enjoying that silence, enjoying that time to be slowed down and, you know, and not rushing and not being in that fast paced environment. Um, cause there's a lot of things that a lot of people need to work on, but I feel like when you're constantly busy, when you're go, go, go with kids and life and work, you know, it's hard to really see what you need to see, what spirit and angels are trying to show you, what they're trying to, um, talk to you about. So that's kind of what I'm picking up with those cards. So the other one says simplify your life. And I feel like Look at your life right now. You can see how she's busy cleaning and there's mountains of laundry and mountains of dishes and there's things are cluttered. And I feel like look at the areas of your life right now and start decluttering the areas of your life, whether this is, you know, your house, whether this is, you know, your environment or, you know, whatever it is. What can you do to... I don't know why. I guess it would be better, better yourself. You know, what can you do to help yourself? What can you do to be less, uh, what is the word I'm thinking of? Be, be less disorganized. So I don't know if there's something in your life right now that you feel is cluttered, that you feel is, that was the word clutter, that you feel is cluttered, that you feel is disorganized. I feel like Think about what you can declutter in your life right now and then start there. You know, you don't have to do big things right off the hop. Start with the small stuff, right? Like start with the things that you know you you can fix right now. Some things you can't. Some things you have to allow just to 
work themselves out. But I feel like if you can, if you can simplify your life and help yourself out, um, early, then that's what you guys should be doing. Um, especially for today. I mean, it's Tuesday. So what, what small things can you do today to, to ground you, to, to move you to where you need to go to help make it easier, right? Okay. Being in the flow. I am in the flow of the universe. Yeah. Things are coming in nicely for a lot of you things, you know, but it's, again, it's about simplifying your life. It's about looking at your life and, you know, asking yourself, you know, where am I going with this? You know, where am I going with my life? What do I want? You know, that stuff. But I feel like a lot of you are in flow right now. I feel like a lot of things are changing. A lot of things are happening. And I feel like a lot of you are really getting grounded with who you are and what you want. And you've been re working really hard on yourselves. And it's like that self-love feeling that's coming through. It's just, you know, that in order for you to be better for anyone else, you guys have to be better for yourselves. And I think that that's a really important statement. Communicate. This is like the hardest thing, right? You would think communication was easy, but it's not, you know, not a lot of people know how to communicate properly. Not a lot of people know how to be open. Not a lot of people know, know how to be loyal and honest. And I feel like communication is coming through because it's saying, look, like the best thing you can do for other people and the best thing you can do for yourself is to express how you feel is to communicate, right? So if, if you're holding back, if you're not communicating how you feel, if someone is stepping overstepping boundaries, you know, it, it's about you saying, hey, you know, I'm going to communicate this. I'm going to communicate how I feel because you are sort of overstepping things. So it's really being open and honest with yourself today, really trusting your intuition um, and trusting your intuition, trusting your gut for sure. You are going to be receiving um, messages from spirit. So they're saying like, you need to clear yourself because spirit is coming through in the form of messages, whether that's uh, voicemail, whether that's text messages, whether that's music, whether that's signs, it's, it's one of those weeks where I feel like the universe is literally opening up and things are going to be evolving. Things are going to be changing. And I feel like spirit just wants you guys to get in the game, wants to get you guys open and your mind open and just, just being more clear that things are changing. Listening with your heart. I trust the messages I receive my, from my heart. Yeah. No. So listen to your heart, you know, whatever is going on with this week, whatever is going on today, really listen to, to what it is that they're trying to, um, show you. So let's go to the other deck and then we'll finish this off. So we have study spirit has its own special way of letting you know that it's time to study again from time to time. It's important to go back and learn whether that's learning old things in a new way or learning something totally new. This is an opportunity to expand your mind. So this could be something that you guys want to work towards, whether it's a career, whether it's schooling, whether it's, you know, a hobby, whether it's um, a passion, maybe there's something that within the weekend, since last time I talked to you guys where something has come up, you want to learn something, you know, music, maybe you want to learn an instrument, whatever it is, right? It's, it's about knowing that the only person stopping you from pursuing your dreams, the only person stopping you today from pursuing a goal is you, you know, you are in control of your life. You're in control of what happens. So I feel like it's just saying, go out there and do big and, and, and believe in yourself and believe in, in what you're here to do. We also have receive. You are a kind and loving soul who constantly reaches out and gives to others. But now it's time for you to learn how to graciously receive. Just as with the EVB and flow of the tides, the art of giving and receiving is a natural law and order of the universe. Yeah. All right. So it's all right to, to put out to the universe what you want. It's okay to, again, I feel like it, it's setting those healthy boundaries. It's not allowing people to walk all over you. It's not allowing people to control you. It's not allowing people to make you feel, um, anything that hurts you or, you know, invalidates you. I feel like it's, it's understanding that, you know, you may give and give and give and give, but it's okay to receive. It's okay to pull that back and, and, and pull your energy back and pull your love back. If it's not being received from this other person, if this other person's not giving you what you need, it's okay. But it's okay to pull back and do what you need to do to ground yourself. Um, because you deserve the same respect that you're, you're giving out. So the other card says, just ask. There are many here in the spirit role that can assist you at this time. We are made up of the divine source, your loved ones, friends, guides, angels, and spirit helpers who are, will, uh, are wanting to assist you. We are a spiritual team and all you have to do is ask for help and guidance. Yeah, you got a lot of support around you guys this week. A lot of support. Self-love. 
Now is the time to love, nurture, and heal yourself. Self-love is not simply a state of mind about feeling good. It's a state of appreciation for yourself that grows and matures from actions you take to support your body, mind, and soul. Yeah. You know? And I feel like a lot of you are there. I feel like a lot of you are starting to realize that, it. hey, like, if I don't love myself, how do I expect someone else to love me? If I don't value myself, then how can I expect anyone else to love me? And it's like, you're finally starting to realize that you got to be happy with who you are before you go find happiness in another person. So a lot of you should be really proud of yourself that you're in this place right now where self-love is huge. Self-love is something that you're really, like, keen on. You're really working hard at that. And I mean, it's definitely showing in the cards strength strength comes from many sources staying strong brings confidence conviction and a balanced body mind and soul spirit has its own unique and beautiful way replenishing your soul with strength on a continuing basis you're never really alone as we're always with you yeah so you know whatever you're going through just know today that you know it's going to take strength it's going to take patience it's going to take you understanding um understanding the journey understanding the process understanding the source knowing that sometimes being strong you know, is, is easier said than done for sure. Um, but this, this strength that you have within you that maybe you've never even realized you did, it's going to take you places, you know, the stronger you are, I feel, I'm not going to say the stronger you are, the further you go. <coughs> Sorry guys. But I feel like sometimes it takes a really strong person to go through what you've been through and sometimes you don't even realize how strong you are until strong is the only choice you have right so just know that you have strength within you to conquer anything that life throws at you today all right so one more card and then i'll get out of here so sneeze. <coughs> oh my gosh sorry are you noticing the signs of synchronicity that the spirit world has been sending to you at this time People and situations in your life are not just appearing by coincidence. In reality, they're being guided to you from the spirit world to help you for a specific reason. Okay. So everything that is occurring in your life right now, everything that is happening, if you're noticing things, it is because it's meant to. <clears throat> the people, <coughs> sorry guys, the people, the places, the situations that you are enduring right now, it's all happening for a reason. It's, and I know a lot of people are sick of hearing that, but I'm telling you that whether it's a high, high or a low, low, it's all, it may not make sense right now, guys, but I'm telling you it will make sense when it's supposed to make sense. All right. So I think I am done. I'm going to leave it there. You guys let me know how it resonates. I'm sending you guys all love and light. Have a happy Tuesday and I'll see you guys again tomorrow.